So, you've just completed the tutorial of Brighter Shores, but you're not really sure how to grind your 5 professions of Homeport. That is what I'm going to be trying to explain to you in this video, starting off with the Guard profession. Before we're going to be grinding some combat, I would first like you to check your spells and see if you have the Quartermaster spell unlocked. And if you do not, then head to the training grounds and go to the Quartermaster. Talk to him and ask him if he has some magic spells that he can teach you. The Quartermaster spell is basically your bank. And once we have unlocked our handy weapon and armor storage, let's go grind some combat. And I think the best ones is to defeat some goblins, either goblin thieves or goblin chiefs. Head south to town square and from there head east. Go through all street west and east until you arrive at town gates. And at town gates, north are the level 6 goblins and south are the level 8 goblins. Now what is nice about these goblins, if you check your map, these goblins are written with a red background. Which means that after your immunity timer has run out, these goblins will automatically re-attack you, making it quite nice and chill. Occasionally grab some weapons that you can sell to the quartermaster, and when your inventory is full, make sure that you open your quartermaster spell and put them in your weapon storage. And you can simply grind here for a very long time. If you want a different drop table, then you can also just simply go a bit south and go attack the goblin chiefs. The other aggressive monsters in Hopeport are thieves located around here, as well as ghouls located yeah, all the way northeast. I have not unlocked it on this account. Once your guard profession is about level 10 or higher, you can very easily complete the obelisk quest. And this quest will grant you 10,000 guard experience. I have yet to complete the last shipment quest yet because in the middle of the quest I apparently need 25 fishing. And that already concludes the profession of guard. Next on the menu is the profession of chef. For this profession, I suggest you to have a completely empty backpack. If you have some fish in your inventory, then sell them to the fishmonger. If you have some potions or reagents, then deposit them in the storage in the alchemy store. And if you have some armors or weapon, then use the quartermaster spell and deposit everything. Once you have your empty backpack, let's go to town street and the first NPC that you see, not the guard, but Kevin, let's click on him and trade and buy 12 bread. Oh, I can't even afford it. Okay, buy an equal amount of bread and bacon. Once you have your bread and your bacon, let's enter the restaurant and let's go into the back into the kitchen. In the kitchen, just next to us, just a bit of north, they'll find the recipe book. Read it and you'll see all the dishes that you can make here in Homeport. Click on them to see the ingredients and what kind of tools that you will need to use. If we are level 1, the only thing that we can make is a bacon sandwich. Click on it and we'll see that we'll need to use a frying pan and the preparation table. And the ingredients are raw bacon and bread. So, let's click on the frying pan and use it. Select bacon. And after we are done with the bacon, next to the cooking book, there will be the preparation table. Click on that one as well to slice up the bread. Once we are done preparing the basic bacon sandwich, we can sell these to the head chef, the NPC walking around here. And they should grant you a small profit. Then simply head back to Kevin outside until you're able to make a dish that requires a fish. And you can do this loop over and over again until you are satisfied with your chef profession skill. There are a couple of dishes that require some fish. 
we can either buy them from the fishmonger or we can catch them ourselves using the fishing skill. Every two levels that you gain in your professions, doesn't matter which one, you will get an additional unlock. This will grant you slightly more XP and more coin. So I will suggest you to always try to cook fish or alchemist the highest potion fish or recipe that you can. And that is basically the chef profession. Next in line is the fishman profession. To be able to start your fishman profession, you'll first need to head to the town square and enter the fishing store. Let's trade mouth and let's buy a fishing spear. Though this will cost 12 silver. To be able to obtain 12 silver, you must either grind your chef skill or your guard skill. Once you have purchased your fishing spear, the first thing that you can catch is some flounder. To catch flounder, we will need to make our way to East Beach, which is the same location that we have visited to grab some brown kelp for the tutorial. So continue south from Town Square to Central Waterford, then head west to West Waterford, and west of West Waterford, they'll find East Beach just a bit south. Once you're here, let's enter the water and click on a fish and just simply catch. There are always six fish in every chunk. It doesn't matter if they are flounders, pufferfish or eel. And once you've caught all six of them, what I usually do is drop all of these flounders. The fishmonger is quite far away from here and I don't really think it's worth to sell these flounders. If you still have some time remaining before the flounders respawn, I suggest you to drop your flounders and instead start foraging some brown kelp. In my opinion, while the flounders are respawning, gathering the brown kelp is a lot more helpful for your alchemy skill than running all the way to the fishmonger for just a small amount of coin. At the higher levels, it might occur that your backpack might be full of brown kelp. You could either ignore this and continue power fishing the flounders, or if you want to bang these, then simply teleport to home port and then make your way to the alchemist store and deposit them in the reagent storage. That is gonna be a lot faster than walking all the way to Stone Street. Once your fisherman profession has reached a level 2, you'll be able to catch lesser eels. Lesser eels can be caught right next to the fishmonger. So from level 2 to level 4, let's catch some lesser eels. And once our inventory is full, let's sell them to the fishmonger. Then from level 4 to level 6, we can catch some pufferfish. And also pufferfish are right next to the fishmonger. And once your fisherman profession has reached level 6, it is time to move back to East Beach and catch some flounders for the next two levels. Then at level 8 it is back to the eels, and then at level 10 back at the pufferfish. I suggest you to sell the eels and the pufferfish, and just powerfish the flounders and just drop them. And that concludes the profession of fisherman. For the next profession, that is foraging. Foraging from level 0 to level 2, it is simply done by foraging some kelp. And just like in the tutorial, it can be found at East Beach. And here you'll find three brown rocks, which are brown kelp. Forage all three of them. If you want to do some fishermen at the same time, then while waiting for the kelp to respawn, simply catch some flounders. This, however, will require you to have purchased a fishing spear for 12 silver coin from the fishing store at the town square. Or, if you simply want to get some foraging XP, then simply head further west. West of the rock pool, here is the jellyfish landing. And here you'll find three more brown kelp. And once you have run out of these three kelp, and you return to East Beach, then the original three will have respawned. Just move between jellyfish landing and East Beach, foraging the six brown kelp, and do this until you've reached level 2. 
However, since brown kelp is also needed for level 2 alchemist potions, it might be helpful to gather some more. Once you are done gathering brown kelp, the fastest way to make our way to the alchemist store is by simply using the hope port teleport. Once you've reached at least a level 2 foraging, let's make our way to town square and then eastward. Here you'll find some creamy wall plant that you can forage at level 2. However, this will require some secateurs. Where you can purchase these secateurs are on Old Street East. Let's enter the forager warehouse and trade Ella. And that basically already concludes the foraging skill. And for the final profession is the alchemist. To be able to know what reagents that you need for all of these potions, simply head to Stone Street and enter the apothecary. And just like the chef profession, let's read the alchemist recipe book. So for 5% XP boost in home port, I will need a shovel to be able to get a shell, but that requires like 48 silver. And to make a strength potion, that requires a some kind of butterfly net. And I also don't have the coin for that. So for me, it is simply going to be healing potions. And the level 2 potions require brown kelp and the creamy wall plant. The creamy wall plants are really easy to forage since they are pretty much next to the store. While brown kelp is a little bit harder to obtain as it is further away. How to forage kelp and creamy wall plants is shown in the forage section of this guide just a couple of minutes earlier. And with our empty backpack, let's open the potion reagent and hopefully we have stored some of them in there and let's grab the items that we will need. If you don't know what reagents you need, simply read the recipe book and see what you will need. Next, just like in the tutorial, use the reagent preparation station to, well, yeah, simply prepare the reagent. Once we have done this, let's go to the standard potion table and start making some potions. If you like the bottles to put the potions inside, then you can simply trade Epsworth, the store owner of the apothecary, and purchase them for a quite cheap price. And this was my basic guide how to do all the five professions of home port. Hopefully this guide has been helpful. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye. Hello, post me here. I kind of want to let you know about the mistake that I've made because I thought that the beta would get the complete reset and I would have to start over from scratch like everyone else. Apparently that was not the case. And I think that I have taken the wrong passive reward. To get passive rewards such as DAP Fishing from level 20, which, by the way, continues while you are locked out, I think I took the wrong one. To be able to unlock your first passive reward, you will first need to get 100% of knowledge. You'll be able to see this progress bar once you've reached at least one profession to level 20. Then your next knowledge will be at 1%. Get another stat to level 20 and it will be already popped to like level 26. And unlocking Home Forest got me all the way to 100% knowledge. Honestly, because I thought that the beta would get a complete reset, I took the passive skill of Fisherman. Even though the Alchemist skill is really slow. I think I honestly would have preferred to do Alchemy overnight than anything else. So don't be me and don't train fishing AFK overnight and do something else. Alchemist is a slower skill, so I think that would be the best option, but I am not sure, to be honest. Um, I'm logging out. Let the passive activity do the rest.